Hello everyone, welcome to Adventure of the Seas, a Voyager class cruise ship of Royal Caribbean. Adventure of the Seas was launched in 2001 and was last refurbished in 2018. It has a capacity of 3,807 passengers. Upon entering the forward atrium on deck 5, you will see a monumental sculpture extending through multiple decks. The centerpiece of the collection, located in the Royal Promenade, is made of metal, cable, paint, and gold. It extends upward from the deck below and touches the ceiling of the promenade. Its swirling, tornado-like form evokes the image of a diver looking upwards toward the ocean surface with a school of fish above. Guest Services Desk near the promenade There are a number of staff manning this counter and usually the wait isn't long. Right next to Guest Services is the Shore Excursions Desk. Let's take a stroll along the Royal Promenade. Lots of live entertainment and activities are held here. The Duck and Dog is a popular English-style pub, which offers both indoor seating as well as outdoor seatings along the promenade. Grab a beer, chat with friends, enjoy live music or simply watch the people go by. Charges apply. Next to it is Japanese restaurant Izumi. Charges apply. A quick look at the restaurant menu. Besides offering sushi, sashimi, you can also order noodles and rice dishes too. Gluten-free, lactose-free, and vegetarian options are available too. If you enjoy sushi and would like to make your own sushi, they offer classes too. For those who like to do some shopping, perfumes and cosmetics has a range of products to choose from. Some fun decorations up here. Two drink vending machines located at the promenade for those who had purchased the drinks package. Some tempting treats at Scoop by Sugar Beach. Charges apply. A variety of different flavored ice cream and signature sundaes. Look at some of the almost empty canisters and you know these sweet treats are popular. Next to the ice cream counter is Cafe Promenade which serves complimentary sandwiches, cakes, pizzas and more. Charges apply for specialty coffee. You can enjoy a quick breakfast, have a cup of coffee, enjoy an afternoon pastry, or grab a late-night pizza snack. Offerings of vegetarian options such as pickled relish and egg salad sandwich. Tuna spread focaccia with pesto sauce. Take your pick as all of them look delicious. Veggie pizza is also available upon request. The pizzas are very popular, grab one before it's gone. More tasty cakes over here and a variety of fruits available too. Coffee, tea, juices and water available. Nice place to chill and enjoy a quick snack. Shopping time again. Apparels, bags, caps, etc. Some other items for sale include duty free liquor, wine, and cigarettes pack.
gift and jewelry shop. Fashion boutique. The promenade comes alive at night when there are live entertainment and parties. Now let's take a look at the various dining venues. Here is the main dining room on deck 5 which is a complimentary dining venue. The sapphire dining rooms are located on deck 3, 4, and 5 in the aft of the ship. Breakfast is served on deck 3 every morning from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Lunch is served on sea days on deck 3 from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. For dinner, there are two seatings every night. The first seating is 5 p.m. and the second seating is 8 p.m. Or you can choose my time dining which starts from 6.45 p.m. to 9 p.m. All the dining rooms serve the same menu. We had our dinner on deck 3 every night. Service was very good and we did not have to wait long for food to be served. My favorite meal was the lamb shank, it tasted so good. On deck 4 is Chop's Grill, a specialty restaurant. Charges apply. Chop's Grill is an American steakhouse serving classic fare such as tender dry aged beef, filet mignon and bone in ribeye. Giovanni's is another specialty restaurant located on deck 11. Charges apply. An Italian restaurant which serve a selection of Italian classics. From fresh pastas, to braised meats and stews, and many other Italian cuisine. Also on deck 11 is the Windjammer Marketplace, which is a complimentary buffet-style dining venue. It is open every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast starts from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Lunch is from 11.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. and dinner hours are 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Breakfast and lunch hours can get pretty busy on sea days. There is lesser crowd during dinner time.
a variety of cakes, puddings, cookies, jelly, etc. at the dessert station. There is also a bar counter to order cocktails or other drinks. The drink station offer complimentary coffee, tea, hot water, and juices. Arctic Zone is also located on Deck 11, a very popular place where you get complimentary soft serve ice cream. It operates from 11.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Moving up to Deck 12 is Johnny Rockets, another popular casual dining option during lunch and dinner hours. Charges apply. The operating hours are from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Johnny Rockets has a retro style ambience and you can enjoy American staples such as burgers, fries, shakes, chili dogs and more. The restaurant offers both indoor and outdoor seating. Let's take a tour of the entertainment venues and lounges. Imperial Lounge is located on Deck 5, a venue for trivia games, port talks, live music, and entertainment. This one, number 12. Who is the artist of the song? There is also a bar counter where you can order drinks while enjoying your activity. The Lyric Theater is on Deck 3 and 4. Nightly shows at 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. It is also used for other events as well. A quick look at the deck plans and layout. Deck 1 is the boarding area and location of the medical facility. Deck 2 loyalty ambassador desk and conference room and so forth. For questions regarding your loyalty tier or benefits, visit the loyalty ambassador desk on Deck 2 and have your queries answered. Next to the loyalty desk is the conference center where private events may be held. Moving one deck up is the art gallery on deck three. Beautiful paintings of different genres, creative artwork, sculptures and figurines are displayed here. Art auctions are also held for interested buyers. Next to the art gallery is Focus Photo Gallery. 
log into the computers using your keycard and browse through your photos. Order your desired photos and bring those beautiful memories home. Accessories and photo frames are also available for purchase. Just a few steps away is Studio B where ice skating performances and other events are held. I have enjoyed the ice skating show. The entertainment team had put up a very impressive performance. The rink is also open during certain hours for guests to have some fun at ice skating. Moving another level up on deck 4 is Casino Royale. Slot games and table games are available. Try your hand at blackjack, poker, roulette and more. Also on deck 4, another entertainment venue, Boleros. If you are into Latin music and dancing, this is the place to be at. On the same deck, you will find Schooner Bar, a popular entertainment venue with a nautical theme. Sip a cocktail, play the trivia game, or simply enjoy the live music. There is a piano bar in the evenings. Now I am moving one level up to deck 5 where Champagne Bar is located. This place offers a more quiet and relaxing ambience. Also on deck 5, the card room where you can still entertain yourself with some board games or card games. I am moving up to deck 6 where next cruise office is located. If you are looking to book a cruise or looking at future cruise options, the operating hours are stated outside the office. Moving up to deck 7 is where the library is located. Moving another level up is the internet room located on deck 8. One of my favorite place is the outdoor promenade which is located on deck 4. Shuffleboard game is available here. Go up the stairs from the outside promenade at deck 4 and you can access the helicopter pad. Lots of benches for guests to sit and relax.
a nice place to enjoy the panoramic views. Another cool place to visit is the Peekaboo Bridge. Go through the side door from the solarium at deck 11, walk towards the front, go down a flight of stairs and take a look at the bridge. Let's go outdoors to check out the sports deck and facilities located on deck 12 to 14. Basketball court on deck 13. Kids having fun at the Adventure Dunes on Deck 12 and 13. The basketball court is also used for pickleball and other games as well. Challenge yourself at the rock climbing wall on deck 14. the popular and fun flow rider on deck 13. You can try stand up boarding, boogie boarding, or do the mixed waves. Minimum height is required for participants. There are also classes where you can pick up a skill or two from the instructors. An overview of the perfect storm water slide. Check-in counter for participants. Another exciting activity for water slides lovers is the perfect storm, cyclone, and typhoon. Participants must meet certain height and weight requirements before partaking in this activity. Go up a long flight of stairs to reach the top.
Adventure Ocean for kids and teens on deck 12. Plenty of video arcade games here. Charges apply. Optics Teen Club Adventure Ocean Kids Club Vitality Spa and Fitness Center on Deck 11 and 12. The spa is located on Deck 12. Various services such as hair treatment, facial, massage, etc. Go down a flight of stairs to Deck 11 and you will see the men's and women changing room, shower rooms, sauna, and steam room. Lockers available for use. The steam and sauna room. the fitness center and gym. Lots of equipment to do your workout and burn all those calories away and load up on food again. Get on a treadmill while enjoying the beautiful view outside. The solarium pool and sun deck, which is an adults only area. Two whirlpools available inside the solarium area, which are available for adults only. Plenty of loungers to have some quiet moments and a solarium bar to enjoy your drinks. Movies under the stars and the main pool area on deck 11. Whirlpool hot tubs. Splash away bay for kids with water feature and mini slides.
There are two bars where you can order drinks in the pool area. Pool bar. One level up is the sky bar. View of the pool area and jogging track from the Viking Crown Lounge. Jogging track above the pool deck. You can enjoy lots of activities on the pool deck area, especially on embarkation day and sea days. I am now on deck 14 exploring the Viking Crown Lounge and other venues. Suite Lounge. Exclusively for guests living in suite rooms. Blue Moon. This lounge has a bar, a bandstand, and dance floor. Late night parties are held here. Diamond Lounge for Diamond Tier guests and above. Serve specialty coffee, breakfast, snacks during tea break and finger food during evening happy hours. The lounge also has a dedicated concierge. As well, we have surf and surf and street. Last, but not least, on the highest deck 15 is the Skylight Chapel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.